What's going down techies and techettes? Today we're going to be covering how to properly install your AMD GPU. My name is Mac and you're at the MacGyver 7 channel. And I know sometimes it can be a little bit hard. We're going to be going over the basics of how to do the ultimate clean install on top of how to go from install to install and properly install those. Sometimes if you're having some bugs, this can fix some issues. But let's go ahead and dive right into it, shall we? Now you can see I already have the Adrenaline software pulled up right over here. Before you even go to do that and you have an option of downloading that directly from the site, I have a way of figuring out how to find the software. You can watch that video it's in its entirety, save some time in this one. But before you even install this, you need to do one thing. Go to your task manager, you're going to have to uninstall your software currently. Even if it's an AMD software or if it's an NVIDIA, look at your task manager and see what's going down and see what's inside of there. So you can conveniently see what I did is I already opened it up and there's the uninstall right there. So just this PC uninstall that that'll be your task management right there. So here I am. I don't have any other software installed except for what I have. So I'm gonna have to uninstall this 20.4.2 to install the new software. It's going to do its thing. We'll go ahead and let it uninstall and then we'll get back to installing and showing you exactly what to do. Now, don't worry if there's a flickering screen or in between then and there, it should be pretty cool. And you can see it's very successfully done that you can finish, but you're going to need to reset the computer in order for this to actually uh, happen. And then we're going to install. So let's go ahead and restart. And I'll meet you guys on the other side of the digital realm. Now with the proper portion of everything reset, Go ahead and run it as administrator and it's going to give you some options you're going to run through real quick. Very simply put, you're going to install it like it's going to be the first time ever. And this is your clean install, which is pretty nice. You've deleted any errors they possibly could have been inside the software. And that's very important that you want to uninstall before you install and reset. For some weird reason, that pattern works really well. Even AMD recommends it themselves. Um, so let's go ahead and do this process and I'll meet you guys again on the other side. I just noticed that it had this thing. It, that's pretty cool. The little like DOS looking thing. Now we've been greeted with the setting of, hey, congratulations. Would you like to install? Now hold up. There's one more thing that's going to be here. And this is what's going to basically give you the in-between installs. So if you're doing an optional, going into a situation of a standard to standard, whatever you're doing in this situation, this will do a factory reset if you want to. This will also ditch all your presets that you have on top of your Radeon card. This is meant to put it back to a factory reset in order to have the best optimal performance and see if maybe that one of the settings got crossfired with another one or something isn't really working in tandem with it, it happens. Usually using this technique will fix about 90% of the problems that usually are gremlins inside of there. So what you're conveniently going to do is just go to the additional option and then you're going to go ahead and go bam factory reset optional. I don't understand why they just hide that, but that little setting going in there will save you a lot of setting. I'm going to show you in the very end how we're going to reset this to the very proper because remember I'm installing 20 dot four dot one which currently is twenty dot four dot two which is the new current standard and we're gonna go into that install so I'll meet you guys and gals again on the other side sometimes your system will be in a weird state it'll flicker and it won't that's why you have your automatic reset button don't worry it'll happen now this should boot your settings into like what seems like almost like a very beginning setup for your computer. But don't worry, again, this is a good sign. This means everything's going proper. And like that, we have completed the step one of the Radeon software. Now you can, again, reset yours and make sure that it goes properly. But let's go ahead and show you exactly what we need to do in order to do just the optional of like going from optional to optional and getting that started in order to, because well, again, we need to update our software. Now with the general software already open, just go ahead and click the refresh. You can see, hey, it checked onto this for the status to date, but you're gonna have to go up here and we're gonna have to go select recommended, then you can go down to optionals, and then we're gonna go ahead and go back to our system home. And we should be able to see, bam, now we got a new one. So once that's done, uh, Downloading, I'll show you guys and gals what we need to do for the next step. All right, cool. That was pretty fast. 
Uh, so we're going to go ahead and install I'll do the same process again we'll do the clean install just like I, I showed you again and at the very end of the process we should be super duper squeaky clean with our gpu so if anything else has gone wrong that means that's hardware or maybe thermal paste or something like it that is beyond the software you know and like i've done this before where i've had some issues and i've done these and it panned out quite well so remember we're going to go ahead and make our factory set and then keep all our settings no we do not want to keep any of the settings make sure it was selected sometimes they'll ask you that but we do not want to do that we want to just go ahead and reset everything again that way everything's fresh and like that everyone we're pretty much done through the tutorial that should have gotten you through everything you needed to in order to do a proper clean install for your gpu on amd i'm glad i could help leave your comments down below i would love to hear how successful this was for a lot of people and there might be still a lot of bugs maybe you might have to do it again i've done that too sometimes where i've had to literally clean install it twice that's why i like doing the backwards and then installing one more and forward for some weird reason that technique works for some for me at least in my computers but everyone have a very fun day if you subscribe today it's absolutely free helps me as a creator and if you do who knows maybe nathan drake will come back for another episode of freaking awesomeness in gaming that'd be really cool i'd like to see another uncharted and if so i'd play it but i'll see you guys and gals in the near future for more game related tech related and all that other fun stuff but stay tuned i'm gonna be doing my overclocking episode of uh, my gpu on this driver uh, very soon so everyone watching this in the near future stay tuned i'll see you guys and gals there